everyone and my dear students i am mrs pooja kalnani math teacher from holy hearts education academy raipur chatisgarh i hope you all are well and in good health and keeping safe from corona virus students it is also our moral duty to follow the rules and regulations and instructions given by the government so please stay safe and don't go out now today i am going to explain unit number 1 integer from maths from nc for class 7 from ncert maths book now before going to start this unit i would like to revise some of the basic points which you had already completed in your previous classes for example i want to count the number of student in my class so actually i will start from 1 2 3 4 and so on so these numbers counting numbers which start from 1 2 3 4 counting numbers are called natural numbers so the definition of natural numbers means counting numbers if we include the the list of the set of natural numbers can be denoted by the letter n now if we include number 0 to the counting numbers 1 2 3 4 the new set obtained will be the set of whole numbers which can be denoted by the letter w so set w starts from always from 0 1 2 3 4 and so on in prime numbers are there and all are positive now finally the set of integers the set of integers it contains 0 as well as all positive numbers and all negative numbers so the new set it is a set of integers which contain zero all positive numbers and all negative numbers again there are infinite numbers are there now you can see the presentation of integers on a number line in middle always we'll write zero on the right side is zero all positive numbers and to the left side of zero all negative numbers as we move to the right side of zero the value increases and as we move to the right side left side of zero the value decreases so here i told you about the three sets set of natural numbers set of whole numbers and set of integers after this i am going to tell you some rules of addition and subtraction for integers rule number 1 when we add two positive integers the answer will be positive integer when we add two negative integers the answer will be a negative integer but when when we are going to add a positive integer and a negative integer what we will do in that case we'll take the difference of that we'll take the difference of that and put the sign of the larger integer these are the three rules of addition and subtraction for integers after that i'm going to explain some properties related related to the integers property number 1 that is closer property for addition of integers what is this property here we'll take any two, for example any two integers say 3 and 5 i'm going to add these two i'm going to find the sum of these two 3 plus 5 that is 8 so again answer 8 is also an integer for example 3 plus 7 the answer is 10 so again 10 is also an integer so in general we will say that if a and b are two integers then the sum a plus b is also an integer so we can say integers are closed under addition now i am going to tell you for subtraction what happens if we subtract a, in, an integer one integer from another integer suppose 3 minus 5 the answer is minus 2 again minus 2 is also an integer for example 8 minus 4 the answer is 4 so a 4 is also an integer that means if we subtract a integer from an another integer the answer is again an integer so we can say the subtraction is also close under subtraction is also close for the integers so this property is called this property is called closer property for addition and subtraction for integers now next property that i am going to start that is called commutative property first i will tell you commutative property for addition now what we will do in commutative property we will take two integers suppose 2 plus 3 the answer is 5 now i am going to change the order in place of 2 plus 3 i will say 3 plus 
So if you take the sum of 3 plus 2, the answer will be again 5, the same answer. So commutative property tells us what? If we change the order of the numbers, we will get surely the answer same. So in general, we will say that if a and b are two integers such that a plus b will be equals to b plus a. Now for subtraction, I'm, suppose one example I am going to give you 2 and 3. 2 minus 3, answer is minus 1. Of course, minus 1 is integer. But 3 minus 2, that is 1. Yes, 1 is also integer. But here, the answers are totally different. Minus 1 and 1, they are not same. Answers are different. So, we can say that subtraction for subtraction, commutative property is not true for the subtraction of integers. So, till now, I told you two properties, a closer property for integers, then commutative property of integers. So student, till now I told you about the different types of sets, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and the properties, two properties of integers that is closer property and commutative property. So please do the revision of all these topics at your home. Now the next, in the next lecture I will start the next unit. So please take care and be safe and take care.